late for my morning run, I prayed for you. I prayed for all the people who would be worshipping in our basilica this day. And what did I pray? I prayed that you would be lifted up. Because part of our worship is that we're praising the Lord who lifts up the poor. And St. Paul reminds us that in every place, the men and women who pray should lift up holy hands. Because in this lifting up, we are all lifted up before God. Because in fact, we are all poor. We are all poor. We need something. And God wants us to have that thing. And that is why he sent his son Jesus into this world. So Paul said, he stands as the mediator between God and humanity. And therefore, when Jesus came into this world, he came in order to raise people up, to give them something that they never had before. And for this, he gave his life. And therefore, our Lord Jesus was true to the stewardship that had been committed to him. He was a good and faithful steward because the Lord, his Father, had given him all the people of the world and he wanted to raise them up. We are persons who live, who are expected to live in union with Jesus. We are expected to pattern our lives of that of Jesus himself. And therefore, we're called to be stewards. Stewards of all that has been committed to us. So in a very special way, I am expected to be the steward for all the people who come here. Those who come to experience the presence of Jesus in this place praying and making sure that it is offered to them. Because I too will have to give an account before God of my stewardship. So whenever we think of stewardship, we always think about time, talent, and treasure. But I've been able to think that for this basilica, the time, the talent, and the treasure are demonstrated in three ways, by worship, work, and witness. So this is indeed a center of worship. So people come here to worship God. This is why we make sure that we have the best liturgy about the place. This is why we have the music that we have. Because by that music, you are being lifted up. And I'm sure, you know, after that glory we heard this morning, don't tell that you were not lifted up by that. You are transported to heaven. And therefore, at least part of our stewardship is being, you know, has come to light it has borne fruit. So people come in order to worship, and we have to make sure that the worship we offer is the best that is around. But in that worship, we're also witnessing, because it's not just empty worship, but rather through the worship we are acknowledging the presence of God. And that becomes our work. We work to make sure that God is seen and that God is known in this place. 
and that becomes our witness. And so when we witness, we do not just do that while we are in the confines of the building, but wherever we go, when we go through the doors, we should be bearing witness as well. So all of you who have come to go to Disney, to make sure that when you go to Disney, you are bearing witness to Jesus in that place as well. Because if we don't, when we stand before God to give an account of our stewardship, then God will probably have to say to us, you have not been a faithful witness, you have not been a faithful steward, and therefore the stewardship will be taken away from you and given to someone else. But I'm sure that that is not what you want. You all want to be faithful stewards, and we will help you to do that. So that when you leave here and you go back to wherever you have come from, that you'll continue to be faithful. You'll be faithful by raising up your hands in worship to God, by bearing witness to God by the work that you do, that in words and in action, you are saying that God is here. This God who is here, we know, holy, holy is his name. So, what is your worship like? What is your work like? What does your witness look like? Those are the questions that we have to answer. And we are before God. And if we have failed, what we need to say to him, and this is why we started the Mass the way we did, by acknowledging our failures, our sinfulness. We're saying to God, yes, we have not been as good stewards as we should be. But we want to be, and with your help, we can do that. And he's saying, I am here for you. And he's going to give us everything that we need. He's going to strengthen us with the body and blood that we receive in Holy Communion. And strengthened by that food from heaven, then we'll be able to go out. So as we go out, let us make sure that we don't worship any other God but this one true God. Bear him in your heart. Let your lips speak about him. And of course, let your actions, which will speak more loudly than words, demonstrate to the people with whom you come in contact that God is God, holy is his name, and that you are stewards of his.